What's up YouTube, this is URC Shadow and today we're going to take a look at Trevor's level 25 GTA Online mission Hotshot. Now this uh, mission will net you $10,500 and 1390 RP. That may not sound a lot of dollars, however when you consider how short a time this mission takes to complete, it's actually one of the highest paying missions per minute played, really second only to Rooftop Rumble. So it's quite a good mission to know, it's very easy compared to Rooftop Rumble, so let's take a close look. Now this is one of those missions that won't let you start from wherever you want. You have to start from a predetermined uh, start point. So we don't have any options here like parachuting in. So first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get to your car that's on the freeway. Watch out for some of these fences that are lining the freeway. You'll notice that you can't jump over them, you can't smash through them, so you're going to have to go around them. Once you're in your car, you're going to want to do a 180. Get yourself onto the dirt road and start heading towards the farm. As we approach the farm, there's a good bridge and you're going to see there's two guys guarding the entrance. The general tactic I like to use here is to ram the guy on the left hand side and then take out the guy on the right hand side with the Uzi while still sitting in the car. Now, if you're not too confident, you could always get out of the car before you get to the bridge and then snipe the two guards. It doesn't really matter, it's just the faster way to complete it. Once you've taken out those two guys, you may want to then think about taking out the guy further away. As you can see, he's at the house behind the fence, you can't really see him but if you can lock onto him. And then once you've taken out these three guys, you want to sit there and wait for the van to arrive. Now the best weapon to use here to take out the driver is the assault shotgun. Simply because it has a really wide spread of bullets, as long as you hit the windscreen, there's a very good chance that you're killing the driver outright with the first shot. If you're not feeling too confident about getting the driver within a couple of shots, you can block the bridge with your car. It does mean that the time to complete the mission does increase slightly because you have to move your car again afterwards, but it's a better alternative to the van escaping and then having to chase it halfway around the map. From here on out, what you do doesn't matter particularly, it's more if you want to complete the mission fast. So heading down this dirt track, you're going to want to join the freeway. Look out for the big green sign and the telegraph pole behind it, and then you want to head down the ridge, joining the freeway at the point just after that signpost and telegraph pole. Once you've joined the freeway, it's pretty much straight sailing from here. Watch out for some head-on traffic, and watch out for a few objects around Trevor's house. But other than that, it's pretty simple. So as always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can check out my other strategy guides and speed runs for these missions, as well as a whole series of tips and tricks that you can use in GTA Online like combat rolling, target cycling, and firing from blind cover. Cheers for watching.